Hearing loss that occurs gradually as you age presbycusis, is common. About one-third of people in the United States between the ages of 65 and 75 have some degree of hearing loss. For those older than 75, the number of people with some hearing loss is almost one in two. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you for your love and support. Doctors believe that heredity and chronic exposure to loud noises are the main factors that contribute to hearing loss over time. Other factors, such as excessive earwax, can temporarily prevent your ears from conducting sounds as well as they should. You can't reverse hearing loss. However, you don't have to live in a world of muted, less distinct sounds. You and your doctor or hearing specialist can take steps to improve what you hear. Symptom signs and symptoms of hearing loss may include Muffling of speech and other sounds Difficulty understanding words, especially against background noise or in a crowd of people Trouble hearing consonants Frequently asking others to speak more slowly, clearly and loudly Needing to turn up the volume of the television or radio Withdrawal from conversations some causes of hearing loss include damage to the inner ear, a buildup of earwax, infections and a ruptured eardrum. To understand how hearing loss occurs, it can be helpful to understand how you hear. Causes of hearing loss include Damage to the inner ear Aging and prolonged exposure to loud noise may cause wear and tear on the hairs or nerve cells in the cochlea that send sound signals to the brain. When these hairs or nerve cells are damaged or missing, electrical signals aren't transmitted as efficiently, and hearing loss occurs. Higher pitched tones may become muffled to you. It may become difficult for you to pick out words against background noise. Heredity may make you more prone to these changes. This type of hearing loss is known as sensorineural hearing loss, which is permanent. A gradual buildup of earwax. Earwax can block the ear canal and prevent conduction of sound waves. Earwax blockage is a cause of hearing loss among people of all ages. This can be restored with earwax removal. Ear infection and abnormal bone growths or tumors. In the outer or middle ear, any of these can cause hearing loss. Ruptured eardrum, tympanic membrane perforation. Loud blasts of noise, sudden changes in pressure, poking your eardrum with an object and infection can cause your eardrum to rupture and affect your hearing. Treatment depends on the cause and severity of your hearing loss. Options include Removing wax blockage Earwax blockage is a reversible cause of hearing loss. Your doctor may remove earwax by loosening it with oil and then flushing, scooping or suctioning the softened wax out. Surgical procedures Surgery may be necessary if you've had a traumatic ear injury or repeated infections that require the insertion of small tubes that help the ears drain. Hearing aids. If your hearing loss is due to damage to your inner ear, a hearing aid can help by making sounds stronger and easier for you to hear. An audiologist can discuss with you the potential benefits of using a hearing aid, recommend a device and fit you with it. Cochlear implants. If you have severe hearing loss, a cochlear implant may be an option for you. Unlike a hearing aid that amplifies sound and directs it into your ear canal, a cochlear implant compensates for damaged or non-working parts of your inner ear. If you're considering a cochlear implant, your audiologist, along with a medical doctor who specializes in disorders of the ears, nose and throat ENT, can discuss the risks and benefits with you. Thank you.